Good morning, guys. All right, we're all sparkly. Remember, get high, but on your own supply. Breathe. Manipulate your autonomic nervous system so that you can have a cool, calm, and considered response to the challenges that face us on a day-to-day -day basis. Testosterone, the foundation hormone, is necessary for growth and repair. Necessary for optimal brain function. So why is my favorite film director saying testosterone is toxic? An inflammatory title, is it? Oh, was it taken out of context? As we know, everything is taken out of context. So, what was he talking about? Well, apparently, he was talking about testosterone being toxic in his youth, making him do silly things. Sorry, James, that's down to you. As we've said before, testosterone is a calming hormone. What you do with that calming hormone is up to you. Your brain and your nervous system impact your hormones and your sense of well-being. You can still see the glass as half empty. Choose to see it glass half full. Now, primarily, the issue comes from not living according to our physiology. One more time, hunter-gatherer. So... What are we supposed to do? Yes, we're supposed to wake up, hunt, get some food, have a bit of nookie, go to sleep. Your anabolic processes predominate at nighttime and your catabolic processes predominate in the daytime. You're recovering from the activity in the day to prepare you for the next day. So, male hormones follow a diurnal pattern. Day, night, day, night, day, night. They don't care whether it's the working week, the weekend, you're on vacation. Do the same thing. Consistency is key. But we've all made bad choices. We've all done silly things as a result of not really understanding how our body functions. This has led you to sit in front of me, listening to me harp on day in, day out. Talking about low testosterone and how to make testosterone replacement therapy effective. About, yeah, one more time, go earn your reward. So, with low testosterone, you have these negative symptoms of low mood, anxiety, tiredness, brain fog, low libido, the list goes on. So, with healthy testosterone levels, all of those negative symptoms should have resolved. Well, that would assume that the only reason why you're tired is because of low testosterone, and that's absurd. So you have to work. You have to work on all aspects of your health to affect a positive change to your health. I can't do it for you. I can guide you. I can give you the necessary tools. I can safely and effectively titrate your dose according to effect. But you have to put the work in, day in, day out. So, the most effective way of achieving stable male androgen levels is microdosing test sip and HCG. Does that mean that's the only treatment modality available at the Men's Health Clinic? No. Some of our guys are lucky enough to be prescribed an anthate by the NHS. Some guys, Maddie's licking the. Oh, some guys don't get on with HCG. So, the starting place should be test sip and HCG. You should work with your prescribing doctor to achieve stable male androgen levels. You may need adjuvants such as Tadalafil. Examastain, and when we think about examastain, this aromatase inhibitor, where is the problem? Well, we love estrogen. 
Well, we want the correct ratio of testosterone to estrogen. Yes, but AIs are toxic. They are breast cancer drugs. It's the mechanism of action that's important. So it's preventing the conversion of testosterone to estrogen. And if it's all about balance and your ratios of these hormones are dysregulated, fix it. Now, ideally, you want to fix it naturally, looking at your liver health, looking at your body fat. But epigenetics means that sometimes you will have a raised estrogen through no fault of your own. So what should you do? Well, you can use supplements, zinc, calcium, deglucurate, DIM. Continue to work on your health, which you should be doing anyway. Or you can safely and effectively titrate the dose of examastain to achieve healthy levels. So when you think about it, 25 milligrams is the female dose. Our average dose if needed, is normally 0.33 milligrams daily. So let's just say that one more time. 25 milligrams, and the average dose is 0.33 milligrams when you're on TRT. So, as with everything, we need a proportional considered response, and we don't need to listen to the bozos. And if you're under my care and supervision, your protocol will be monitored and regulated by me to continue prescribing TRT, to continue to give you healthy male androgen levels for optimal well-being. Yeah, but it causes bone mineral density loss. Well, oh, I don't know, honestly. <sighs> <laughs> you safely and effectively titrate the dose according to response. You can drink too much water and die. Anything in excess is toxic. Paracelsus, the dose makes the poison. So you don't want too much. You don't want too little. You want just enough to make you feel golden. Because it's all about how you feel. No, it's all about normalising physiology, how your body functions. So getting back to this testosterone is toxic comment. Now, we obviously live in a sick, sick world. We're exposed to pollutants, endocrine dysregulators. We don't live according to our physiology. So what's a man to do? Is he to believe there's an agenda? an agenda to demasculize men. So they're all subservient, passive wusses. If there is, I couldn't care less. Frankly, I'm too busy getting on with it. Understanding how my body functions means I engage in processes that will helpfully lead me to lead an active and purposeful life. So I don't engage in nonsense on the internet, talking about conspiracy theories. Now, they might be conspiracy facts, but I'm too busy leading a life worth living. I think we should follow the money. We should follow the power and just, eh, you can huff, and you can puff. But if ultimately it's leading to negativity in here, irrespective of the truth and your purpose, disappointingly, it is not gonna affect a positive change to you, the individual. And that's what I'm concerned about. That's what I'm interested in, is affecting a positive change to you, the individual. Because if you do that, you will affect a positive change to the collective. If you want world peace, oh, bless you. You're never gonna achieve it. If you wanna save the whales, I wanna save the whales. 
You're never going to do it. Let's start a snowball effect. The chaos theory, the flap of a butterfly can cause a tsunami across the world. So let's engage in positivity, not negativity. Let's be constructive, not destructive. Now, just to end this, why are we listening to a film director talk about testosterone? I'll listen to him talk about films, but I don't get health advice from film directors. I get health advice from doing the research, applying it clinically, and then imparting, hopefully, some wisdoms onto you. So, if you want health advice, go to somebody that has qualifications and experience in their field, not the internet, where it's unregulated and most of it is utter nonsense. Well, we're done. What am I going to say? Yeah, you guessed it. Go earn your reward.